it's counting. <laughs> All right. Hi, everyone. Katrina Sawa here. Um, I wanted to come on today to let you know about my friend RV Robinson. Yay, hi, RV. Some of you probably already know her, especially if you're in California or if you're a speaker, you've probably seen RV somewhere. She is a master speaker trainer. She has speaker training events, and we're here today to talk about how speaking is the number one fastest path to cash. And like, if you want more money in your business, well then you should be speaking. Like what we're doing today is speaking. So if you're doing lives, videos, anything, that's speaking, you guys. So if you're not trained as a speaker on how to monetize more and how to really uh, do the speaking in a different way so that you really make people want what you've got, then you want to get some training on speaking. I've, I've invested in probably five different people's speaker training, and I have a training too, but, but because I've had that. I'm so much more successful in anything that I do and I can do anything off the cuff. So RV, I want you to share with everybody a little bit about what you do, how long you've been in business and why speaking it for you is the number one thing. All right. Thank you so much, Katrina. Thank you. And, and years ago, you and I shared the stage together in in Texas, somewhere in Texas. I remember. Yeah. Public Speakers yeah. Association, I believe. Yeah. Yes. And so what happens, it's just a great way not only to build your business, but to meet other colleagues, friends, and build lifelong relationships and collaborations, which we're doing now. But a little bit about me, I didn't set out to be a public speaking trainer. As a matter of fact, I came out of corporate America, stepped on stage, didn't know what I was doing, didn't have any training, was totally humiliated. And then a woman came up to me and said, honey, do you know? that after every sentence, you say, okay. And in that moment, I realized that, that I needed to, to respect public speaking like any other industry and get trained. And I went one step further. I decided in that moment I was going to master it. And so I did everything I could to get better at public speaking so that I could, in my corporate job, not only get clients, but that I could move up the corporate ladder, which I did after, you know, 23 years success, I went up the corporate ladder and then I reached the very top and I decided, well, it's time to make a change. But my degree was in information systems. My job was information systems. What should I do? So I did what any smart girl would do. I prayed about it. And God said, teach others what I've taught you. And I knew exactly what he meant, public speaking. So 19 years ago, 19 years, yes, I've been doing this exclusively for 19 years, teaching business owners and entrepreneurs how to use public speaking to grow their business, get their message out to the world, and make an impact with their words. So I left corporate America, started my own company. Since that time, I've trained over 5,000 business owners, any, any people from eight years old to 85 years old and everything in between. And I've uh, given over 3,500 speeches all over the world. I don't say that to brag. I say that's a way of life. When you become a speaker, not only will you grow your business like I do every single day, not only will you meet great speakers like Katrina, but you also can travel the world if that's what you decide to do. There is nothing like it. So I want to encourage each and every one of you, get trained. If you're not going where you need to go, if you're not getting the results, if you're not getting the sales, just get more training. Yeah, I would say that, uh, gosh, you and I, I know that you've done a ton of training in this too. I'm constantly honing my speaker skills because this is the main marketing strategy that I use. Now there's three types of speaking. I always teach, you probably teach it too, where you get paid to speak. A lot of people that are newer to speaking just say, I want to get paid to speak. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> right? Like, we do too. Right. But I'd much rather give a free talk and be able to, to sell. You know, generate leads and or make an offer and sell stuff. I actually like to make the offer in the follow-up. But because okay. I haven't been as successful as I would like as a speak to sell speaker where I'm speaking and making an offer and then people rush to the back of the room, oh, like, good. they don't always rush to the back of the room for me. I don't know about you. You probably have a really good strategy for that. What's a good way to get people to rush to the back of the room to buy your stuff? 
<laughs> well, you know what? That's a very good question. And before I answer that, I want to say this. Public speaking has changed over the years. It changes every single decade. Just think of it that way. And I've seen it and I've implemented a lot of the changes myself coming on stage teaching. I'm like, I got rid of the whole Q&A thing in the business world. We don't do that anymore. But to answer your question, there's a couple of key things. See, what happens is a lot of people do not practice their clothes enough. They start to practice their speech and they start up here and they practice, then they stop and come up here and practice and then they stop. And so the clothes gets the least amount of practice. That's number one. You need to practice your clothes the most if that's all you practice. And of course, what I teach my students is you need to practice one hour for every two minutes of speech. So that means if you have a 30 minute speech, you need to be practicing 15 hours. That's what makes you good. That's what makes you sell. So that's number one. Number two, make sure you're seating um, as you're talking. So we already seated a couple things gently talking about getting trained. That's seating because at the end of this conversation, I am going to give you a way that you can get trained, which is my Million Dollar Speaker Summit that's coming up. It's a virtual event, so there's no excuses not to go and get trained. It's under 100 bucks. I'm going to give you a, a special code, so the money isn't an issue. But you want to, as a speaker, you owe it to your audience to give them a way to get more. Whether you sell from the platform or purchase, pique their interest, perk their interest, and get them to follow up with a an, an appointment, like on your calendar, like you do. Either way, that still leads to sales. But so many people don't do either. They just go blah, 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 give some great information and leave their audience hanging. That's the worst you can do for them and you. Yeah, free or you can do a free offer. For many years, when I wasn't comfortable selling from stage, I would just say, well, if, if you would like to come and talk to me, we can have a conversation and see how I can help you, right? right. That's the easiest offer to make. Right. And you can do it all day long and on Sundays. And then, right. and then you do have to get good at those sales conversations, however, to make the money. Right. But, and um, that's where they come to you and get that yeah. kind of sales training. Absolutely. Yeah. Sales training is different from speaker training. You need yes. both. It's just like writing a book is different from speaking training. We yes. need different coaches for each, you know, thing we want to improve. You do. Because as you said, practicing uh, your talk, I'm like, oh my God, that's the one thing I don't do. I'm a fly by the night, like speaker. And that doesn't always prove successful. Okay. Try, but try, I, 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 try practicing your clothes. I know. Your I, know practicing. I have been speaking for 22 years and I never practice. Okay. So don't yeah. do what I'm saying. Don't do what I do. <laughs> <laughs> right. And you know what? Here's, here's something that's really, <laughs> here's something really interesting. And I'm just going to, I don't know if, this is a kind of an old icon, but but do you know Tom Antion, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm sharing the stage with him one day, and I'm in his internet program. So I paid him a lot of money for the internet program. And we're at dinner with all the speakers and guests and all that kind of thing. In the old days, they used to do a dinner before the event, right? I don't see that that much anymore. But what we, I had asked him when dinner was over, I asked him, hey, Tom, can you come and, and, you know, just watch my speech and give me some coaching advice, right? He said, no. I was like, what? Right? Because again, I paid him a bunch of money. I mean, I'm like coaching with him, not as a speaker coach, but internet coach. And he said, no. And I said, why? And he said, because he had to practice. Now, this is a guy who's been a professional speaker for many years, over 20 years. But he knew that his presentation was worth thousands of dollars, at least $100,000. So yes. he knew, if, even though he had it like memorized and he was the script, he knew how important practice was. From that day on, I thought, you know what? 
if if that's him, if that a professional speaker needs to practice, then I have then I'm always going to practice my presentation when there's a lot of money on the line. There's a lot of chances for us to kind of wing it, but when we wing it, we get wing it results. Like yes. we can wing these interviews like we're doing now, mm-hmm. but but on a keynote on stage when there's there's hundreds of thousands of dollars at stake, you don't want to wing it, and so. Uh. Ever since then, I yeah. always practice my, at least my clothes. I would say that's my biggest mistake in speaking, but I'm still pretty good. Well, now pretty you know. Successful. And I'm quite you entertaining know. as a speaker. <laughs> um, and let's talk about that. Cause so, but back to the three types of speaking, there's, you get paid to speak right. and you get on stage and make, and, and you get paid, right? Usually that's a corporate or association that's paying you to come on stage. Right. Or, schools, you know, schools right? are still paying, yes. universities pay. And then there's mm-hmm. a free speaking where you're generating leads usually. Right, right. Up, and, and or make an offer. And then there's the pay to play speaking, right? Like okay. the speakers I had on my summit or my conference this summer paid to be a speaker. Right. Because, and so it's like a collaborative kind of right. effect. And some people, some speakers are opposed to paying right. to play. Um, I don't know how you feel about it, but it doesn't matter. But the, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It does matter how I feel. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to say it doesn't matter. It's early. I haven't had enough coffee. It does matter. And I want to hear what you have to say about that. What I meant was that there's three types of speaking and don't discount any of them. Right. They don't all discount be any of it. Like good approaches. Yeah. They're very good, but let me let me just share the pay to play. Now this now this was something funny because the first time I was offered to pay to play was that very time I'm talking about with Tom Antion. And I'm telling you, that was like 18 years ago. 18 of my 19 years. And I was like, what? Pay to play? They want us to pay to play. And and I called Tom because I was coaching with him. And I called Tom and, and I said, you know, they're going to pay to pay. And he said, he goes, yeah. And it was only 12, it was $1,250. Yeah. That long ago. That long ago. That's a lot of money, that's right? Lot. And so, and so um, they said that you could sell tickets yourself, get the money back, right? And I'm like, that's a pretty good deal. And we got a booth and we got to speak, blah, 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 blah. And I did it. And of course, I made my money back. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. The the host said to me, because I asked, because I was like curious. And he said that he was sick and tired of paying for an event, hiring, you know, bringing all these speakers in and have them sell zero. Because back then, 19 years ago, the model was multi-speaker events. The speaker pays and gives 50% of the sales to the, to the house, to the host. But what happens when they don't sell? You end up with zero, right? You've paid a lot of money to get people in the seats. They've, pro- they've made their connections. They'll get business and they're walking away with your people and you get zero, right? Goose yeah. So I thought that many years ago, 19 years ago, somebody recognized it way back then. Yeah. And so then I've all, now I have a limit on what I'll pay to play. I mean, some people are ridiculous, you know, they're, 10,000 and 20,000. Yeah. And and maybe that's okay if you have it, but always ask questions. I tell my students, make sure you know, is it their first rodeo? I will not pay money if it's somebody's first rodeo. You know, you know what I mean by that, right? Because they'll promise, here's the thing, first rodeo, here's what they'll say. Oh, I promise there's going to be 300 people. It's their first rodeo. There's, that means there's going to be 55 people there, Yeah. right? So now you might pay a few hundred dollars for that, but not thousands. So ask yeah. them, wh- have they done this event before? What's their track record? How many people usually attend, right? Because you know what? There's uh, there's people out there that have a thousand people that come to their virtual events, right? You know, there's, there's people out there that will attract and get that many people. So that's worth it to you. That might be worth 10 grand to get in front of those people, right? It must be because I see the same people keep sponsoring and, and sponsoring is another yeah. way to pay to play, which I think is one of the best ways because then you get a booth, You know, you get, you know, attention on stage, you get to speak, you know, so there's, and they, that costs a little bit more, of course. So just weigh it, ask questions. Is it their first time? How many 
do they expect? When are you going to speak? You know, blah, 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 blah. Just really be diligent and ask questions. And then, and then I always say, pray about it. And if you feel like moved to do, to invest, it's an investment in your business. I say, do it. That that's the model now. Yeah. Yeah. No, good. And all these things to think about. It's like, if you don't have a checklist, when you're asked to speak or you have an opportunity in front of you to either invest or do a speaking gig, you need kind of a checklist. Some people that do these events are kind of clueless because they are new and they don't know that if you ask for this and ask for this and ask for this, you might get it. But if you right. don't ask, you won't get it. So well, there's you know always what? more opportunity. Katrina, that's why people that speak need a coach because I, I will know. tell you, you know, I will tell you exactly what to say and how to negotiate it, how to come up on top instead of just sitting there and, you know, and not, you know, not getting everything because the, because anything and everything's negotiable. And even those sponsorships, I know people, I have sponsorships for my million dollar speaker summit. And I'm telling you that once they know that I'll negotiate, you know, they, the, you know, we negotiate. And yeah. you know, a lot of times I drop the price because I, I, really, I want them or whatever. They bring a lot of value or I'll increase their speaker time. So, you know, I mean, Yep. Yeah. No. Every, almost everything's negotiable, and you never know until you ask. And uh, <clears throat> but all those three types of speaking, I do them all, right? I do less of the paid. Uh, so I know that you have an event coming up, and we could sit here for hours and talk about speaking. Yes. But why could. not just attend an event around speaking? I think that is a smart thing to do if you're an entrepreneur and you haven't focused too much on your speaking abilities and skills yet. Right. <laughs> um, I think you want to tell them a little bit about what your event is all about. I would love to. It's yeah. called the Million Dollar Speaker Summit. It is virtual. It's my seventh year, so it's not my first rodeo. It's my third year doing it virtual, and I create such an experience in the virtual world. You'll think you are there live. There's dancing. There's a scavenger hunt. There's all kinds of fun things. But basically, for three days, it's three days of speaker training, and the training is me training for three days. It is not a bunch of speakers. It's me. I have an echo. Do you I don't hear it? Okay, good. Um, three days of me training you how to create and deliver a persuasive presentation that sells. So Wait, yeah. this is 2022. I just noticed I'm showing 2023. So I'm gonna. Oh, 22. Oh, Sorry, yeah. I, made, I did. I I made that mistake when I wrote it. It's in. okay. I'm, oh, yeah, it. I'm already a year ahead. No, it's coming yeah. up. In a couple of weeks. I'm so excited, <laughs> right? So it's three days. I'm going to teach you about storytelling because one of the best ways to sell from the platform is through stories. It acts as invisible selling. So for those of you that hate sales, just become a master storyteller, right? And so we're going to talk about the stories. I'm going to teach you a system step by step. You're going to get an opportunity to do a one minute presentation. Right. I'm not going to have 900 people there. I like more intimate events of about 100 people. So you'll have an opportunity because you might say, well, how am I going to believe me? You'll have an opportunity. Also, guess what? We've got to have some fun, too, while we're learning. So on VIP night, I'm having Elvis come. That's right. Elvis Presley himself is going to come and sing and entertain you. And he is awesome. So a lot of fun a lot of learning and connections. We're going to have some breakout sessions where you're going to meet people and you're going to make contacts. And again, a scavenger hunt, which is always fun to do. And it just, the list goes on and on and on, but you're actually going to learn how to speak. Now here's my mantra, just so you all know how important this is. I believe that you have a message to share that only you can share to people that can only hear it from you. And that message will save somebody's business, their life, or even their soul. So my job is to train people on how to get their message out to the world. Because I thought at one point that message could be taken away from you and given to someone else if you were too scared. We are going to talk about fear and how to eliminate it. I've got five techniques that will wipe the fear right out of you immediately. 
and replace it with confidence. So not a problem there. But if you, I used to think if you couldn't do it, it could be taken away and given to someone else. And then one day I'm in church and I hear the pastor say this, God has given us all unique gifts. And if you don't use those gifts, they will be unused for all eternity. And in that moment, I thought that is it. That's the same with our message. If you don't deliver your message, your unique message, it will be undelivered for all eternity. What are the consequences? Those people whose business you're supposed to save and help go on suffering. The lives, the souls, they die. That's on you, right? That's how important this is. And that's my sole mission here on this planet is to help you get your message out to the world, no matter what it is, business message, personal message, life-saving, it doesn't matter. I can teach you how to get it out in the world so you can make an impact and do what you need to be doing. That's awesome. And Literally, you guys, this is such a great deal. She's giving you half off an already really stupidly low ticket price. So you want to run to this event because everybody needs more speaker training, even us, right? We're constantly honing our skills. I'm constantly looking at different ways to tweak my talk. And with COVID and the virtual talks, it's completely different than it used to yes, be at the live stages. So you need to know what to do, when to do, and how to do it. And RV is going to show you at this event. So don't, don't, <laughs> like don't, you got to run and get your ticket because it's half off. And I don't know how long you're going to use it. So there's a code down the ticker down there. It's 50 right. 50. Go to million dollar speaker summit.com. Million dollar speaker summit.com. Get your ticket. Use code 5050. She's giving you a huge opportunity to really get some awesome speaker training, you guys. So thanks for being here. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Mwah. Oh, I love it. Awesome. Well, stop holding yourself back, you guys. Go get started yeah. speaking more. Monetize what you're doing and learn how to practice more, please, because this is the key. <laughs> you are, do us all a favor. <laughs> you know? Do us a favor and practice so you're not a crappy speaker. <laughs> and so you can make more money doing what you're speaking right. about with your message. In so. less time because speaker time has been reduced over the years. Yeah, so it has. To learn how to do it more efficiently. Yeah, that's true. Actually, they've gone from like 60 minute talks on stage to like a 25 we're, minute. We're down spot. to 15 minutes now. Yes. 15 I have to 10. Yeah. My speaker slots that I book for the International Speaker Network are only 15 minutes. Plus, if you, right. you got to wow punch them with a little, with like one nugget. You know, you got to know how to do a 15 minute talk, yeah. five minute talk, a 25, a a 45 and a 60 and even a 90, which is That's rare. Right. Find, That's right. right. And yeah. you need your one minute pocket speech, which yes. I will talk about at the event. So, awesome. uh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> you guys, go see RB and we'll talk to you soon. Good luck with that. Yay. Thank you. We'll see Thanks. you soon. Bye-bye.